This message is being broadcast at the request of the Space Weather Prediction Center and is being relayed through the National Weather Service. A space weather warning is in effect for the continental United States until further notice. A space weather warning is issued when some sort of space weather is imminent. Over the coming days, increased activity from the sun is expected to result in powerful solar flares. Solar flares are large buildups of magnetic energy from the sun, and they can lead to widespread radio interruptions, blackouts, and GPS outages when interacting with the Earth's electromagnetic field. Expect service interruptions in radios, internet, television, and even electricity in the coming days. Stock up on bottled water, food that can be prepared without needing to be cooked, and any sort of important medication for your family in case there is a widespread blackout. If possible, use a battery-powered or hand-cranked radio to receive updates. While these still may not be effective during this event, they can be useful in the event that electric grids fail and Internet services are interrupted. Please stay tuned to local news media and the National Weather Service for more information and updates on this upcoming space event. The National Weather Service office in Jacksonville has issued a hard freeze warning for northeastern Florida and southeastern Georgia until further notice. Temperatures are expected to fall well below zero degrees in some areas. Counties impacted include, but are not limited to, Clay, Duval, St. John's, Putnam, Nassau, Flagler, Alachua, Baker, Union, and Bradford counties in northeastern Florida, and Clinch, Ware, Charlton, Camden, Brantley, and Glynn counties in southeastern Georgia. If possible, move any outdoor plants inside, as they will likely die in the cold. Do not leave any people or animals outside, as they may become subject to hypothermia if left in the cold. Due to the recent solar flares, some houses may not have power. If your house does not have power, attempt to keep yourself warm in any way possible. If you are in a house with others, huddle together for warmth, and put on as many layers of clothing as possible to keep your body heat in. Some buildings are expected to freeze over from the frigid cold. Do not venture outside under any circumstances, as you could potentially freeze within minutes. Repeating, the National Weather Service office in Jacksonville has issued a hard freeze warning for northeastern Florida and southeastern Georgia until further notice. The National Weather Service office in Jacksonville has issued a special weather statement for northeastern Florida and southeastern Georgia until further notice. Throughout the morning hours, large mounds made out of ice and rock have begun to develop in areas around the first coast. Most of these occurrences were reported by local spotters and civilians, and these reports were confirmed by satellite imagery. While most of these mounds have appeared in rural areas, some have appeared in and around local towns, including Stark, Keystone Heights, Fruit Cove, and Hilliard. Various reports have come in concerning these mounds, but the general consensus seems to be that they range from 100 to 300 feet in height and have a diameter of around 500 to 1,000 feet. While there is no observable danger as this time, it is advised you keep your distance from them. It has been reported that these mounds seem to act like volcanoes. Rather than expelling heated materials such as lava and molten rock, these mounds seem to expel chunks of ice, water, and small rocks. The resulting plumes from these ice volcanoes have been estimated to be reaching high into the atmosphere, 
anywhere between 10,000 to 30,000 feet, then this material slowly falls back down in the form of snow or freezing rain. While these mounds seem relatively harmless, it is advised that you keep your distance. Do not attempt to scale them, as this could result in you falling and getting hurt. While it has not been reported as of now, larger chunks of ice and rock could be shot out of the ice volcano and possibly hit you, which could result in serious injury or death. It is also theorized that as these mounds expel more frozen material into the atmosphere, this could result in winter weather conditions in the near future. Stay tuned to local news media and the National Weather Service for more information on this unusual event. Repeating, the National Weather Service office in Jacksonville has issued a special weather statement for northeastern Florida and southeastern Georgia until further notice. The National Weather Service office in Jacksonville has issued a winter storm warning for northeastern Florida and southeastern Georgia until further notice. A heavy mix of snow and ice precipitation is expected to occur within the next few hours. Ice accumulations of 1 to 2 inches can be expected, along with upwards of 2 to 3 feet of snow. Counties impacted include, but are not limited to, Clay, Duval, St. John's, Putnam, Nassau, Flagler, Alachua, Baker, Union, and Bradford counties in northeastern Florida, and Clinch, Ware, Charlton, Camden, Brantley, and Glynn counties in southeastern Georgia. This storm is expected to last for the next couple of days, ending around the afternoon hours of Wednesday, October 20th. Power outages should be expected due to ice and snow buildup on power lines. Do not go outside, as ice accumulation on the ground will make it difficult to walk. It is also expected to be very cold, with temperatures generally around 5 degrees in the warning area. Strong winds are also expected, meaning you should stay away from any areas with large trees if possible. Repeating, the National Weather Service office in Jacksonville has issued a winter storm warning for northeastern Florida and southeastern Georgia until further notice. <laughs> 